I'm not gonna lie, Flareal has been stepping up their game recently, and they've already updated to 1.21.70. So to get it, you wanna head over to their official website, which is, I think it's like flareal.xyz. It's gonna be linked down in the description below. By the way, while you're down there in the description below, why don't you check out my Discord server? It contains many more clients just like this one, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here on Flareal's website, we can simply click on this red download button, and the download will start automatically. Now, as you can see in my downloads, I have the Flareal launcher, which is great, and we can simply double click on this, and then it is going to open up right over here. Um, by the way, Flareal Client is completely open source, so, I mean, it's completely safe, which is obviously fantastic, a great thing to know. Uh, for the rest, once you open this up, they'll also have their Discord linked over here, uh, which you can also find on their website. And if this doesn't work for you, the launcher or whatever, or you want to use Flareal Client in a different way, then you can find those things in their Discord server. Anyways, you can log into the launcher, which I haven't done, and you also don't need to do at all. Uh, for the rest, in the settings area over here, you'll find all of these settings that you can access, including the beta DLL, which will enable a beta version of Flareal V2, which they recently announced, and I did make an entire video on, which I will link in the description below. Anyways, I am just going to be enabling that as... Really, it was incredibly good then, and, you know, that's been updated to 1.21.70, so why not? We can just click on that red launch button, which I uh, I did uh, in the middle of the launcher, and that's automatically going to open up whatever Minecraft version uh, you currently have installed with Flareo Client injected. So here we are, and now I'll just head into a single-player world and show you how to use this real quick. That's right, I'll just basically be showing you guys how to get started. If you want a full, complete, in-depth tutorial on everything there is to know about Flareal, then I will link that down in the description below, just for the ones of you who want it. Uh, for the rest, also, if you appreciate me showing you this, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe, you know? Uh, I make a lot more content like this, so, um, yeah, that's a win-win if you ask me. Anyways, to open up Flareal's Quick GUI, you can press on the K- Whoa, <laughs> I, I press it too much. Uh, you can press the K button on your keyboard and that is going to open up this area right over here. Um, this contains all of the modules that Flareal has, which are basically all the utilities that it offers. To enable these, simply click on the red part and then you'll enable the utility. To disable it, click on it once again. Uh, for the rest, we can hover above these and that's going to tell us exactly what they do which is obviously quite useful right and you can click on the settings cog over here as well and that'll bring you to a customization menu uh, now as you can see some of them do have more customization than others for the rest in this area over here uh, these modules should be pretty self-explanatory if you go to this settings button here you'll find a general settings area um, which includes the keybinds fonts, rendering, etc. Um, there's also a config manager right over here. What configs allow you to do is to save all the customizations and modules that you have set. Um, and yeah, just do that with the config manager. You can create multiple, load them different times. You can even share them with your friends. Uh, for the rest, there's a scripting area over here. Scripting tutorial soon, possibly. I don't know. And then there's a HUD editor over here, which we'll get to in just a second. So a lot of these utilities are going to be things that just affect your Minecraft game a little bit. For example, the Fulbright, which will make it so that everything is completely bright. You can uh, see that change in the background right over there. Anyways, some of these utilities are not like that and will actually show up on your screen. I think I turned on one earlier. Uh, for example, the armor HUD, which displays what armor you're currently wearing. Um, currently, I'm not wearing any armor, but I can put on a helmet. There we go, just as an example. There we go, and now as you can see in the middle of my screen, that's going to display the armor I'm wearing. Now, it's obviously quite an odd location. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the click GUI area, go to this area right over here, and then I can change the location of this. As you can see, there's a few snapping lines to help you out, um, but for right now, I think I might put this right down here next to my hotbar. That looks like a pretty good location. And now 
um, all my armor that I'm wearing is going to show up right there, right? So pretty useful. That's basically how to work all of those utilities that show up on your screen. For the rest, in the customization menus, you can customize exactly how these are going to look and show up on your screen, which is obviously pretty neat. For the rest, uh, yeah, that's basically that. These should be pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, there is quite a lot of these. Uh, I think the zoom is enabled by default and you can use the keybind C to um, zoom. Zoom is one of my favorite modules. No matter what client I use, I always enable the zoom. Just like the, it makes it feel a little like I'm playing uh, with Optify on Minecraft Java Edition. Anyways, let me take this off. <laughs> uh, yeah, for right now, thank you all ever so much for watching and uh, I do of course hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.